Ephesians 3, 14 through 19 says, For the reason I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and earth derives his name, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with the power through his Spirit in the inner man, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, and that you may be rooted and grounded in love, that you may be able to comprehend with all of the saints what's the breadth and the height and the length and the depth and to know what love of Christ which surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with the fullness of God. Well, if you're joining us in reading through this 90-day reading plan, today's reading is Ephesians 3, and I encourage you to read that passage. Now, did you ever think of yourself as a mystery? In reality, we are a mystery, but not the kind of mystery that's a whodunit. We are a mystery because we, have not, we are not seen before in God's working out of the salvation of the world. God chose Israel to be his people. They were to be witnesses to all the people of the world. By their lives, they were to demonstrate what a relationship with God really means. But they failed. They stayed in their own little groups and did not expand God's love to the world around them. Well, we've done exactly the same thing. We get comfortable in our churches. We get comfortable in our small groups. And we frankly are upset when things change. We say, why can't we just do the same things that we did before? As if it were good enough for us back then, then it certainly should be good enough for us now. Frankly, our world has changed. We as a people in the United States no longer look to our Judeo-Christian background for guidance and morals. We've changed in the sense that we now look at our outside, ourselves, as animals, and therefore, we no longer have the basis for morality. We can make up our own as we go along. We don't need to look at the power of God. We should be proclaiming faith in Christ, not only verbally, but how we live. We should be explosive in our understanding and expression of Christ in our lives. We should not be conformed to the world by retreating into our own world. The only way that we're going to be able to present Christ effectively and is to intimately know him and then show our love to the world around us.